Hey folks, it's race day and we've got a massive race day ahead. Um, so strap yourselves in for a big ride. Um, we'll look at two tracks today. We're up at Flemington, then we're up in Gold Coast for the Magic Millions. Let's get stuck into it. We'll start off at Flemington and we'll start off with race one, the Kennedy Plate. I've got horse number one, Pioneer River. It's got Barrier 5, Mark Zara on board. Pioneer River is a wonderful colt. I think he'll get over the line. For the win. Uh, I also want to look at number seven, Tiny, who's got barrier four. She's a beautiful filly, 50% uh, chance to win, 75% chance to place. Uh, it's good odds, so I'd back her. Um, both these horses are going to go well. If I had to choose a winner, I'd stick with my gut and go with Pioneer River. Then we look at race four, the Lexus Summer Event Trophy. I've got number five, Solar Apex, who's drawn barrier two. Damien Thornton on board. Hopefully he can get Solar Apex over the line for the win. Damien had a wonderful night of racing last night up at Mooney Valley. He got um, a couple winners. He had a few placings. So hopefully um, he has another great day. Day of racing and uh, gets on to a couple of winners today. Another horse in this race who I think will go well is number nine, Mystic Falcon. New Zealand horse, Barrier 7. Uh, it's going to go well. I'd say it'll beat Solar Apex and get the win, but it's going to be a tight finish. Race 6 is the Icognitus Plate. Um, it's hard to go past number four, Mr. Moneybags, an oldie but a goodie. He's drawn barrier three. Um, I think Mr. Moneybags will go well and get the win. If not the Moneybags, I'll go with number six, Viral, uh, who's drawn barrier six. I think Viral will go extremely well. Uh, if not the win, I reckon she'll get at least a plate. Place, sorry. Same plan, saying the name of the race, excuse me. Uh, moving on now to race seven, we've got the listed Kensington Stakes. I've got four horses in this one, so you might want to look at taking a first four, a boxed first four. I've got number one, Fabagino, who's hard to go past because it's the favourite. Uh, it's got barrier six, a wonderful coat on this horse with the grey colour. Uh, she's a wonderful mare. Uh, at the age of six, she's going extremely well. I think she might get the win today. Uh, if not, Fabagino, number two, Prisado, who's drawn a, a wide barrier in barrier 10. Jamie Carr on board, but I think Jamie will be smart enough to get Prisado over the line for at least a place. Number six is Pandemic. Got barrier three. This horse has been going extremely well over the last couple of weeks or so. And uh, it's had a few great wins. Uh, and maybe even will get a win uh, in race seven today. And also number eight, Sword of Mercy. He's got barrier seven. Had a wonderful win last week. And uh, I reckon could go back to back wins. So um, there's my first four guys. Um... And it's looking really good with those horses. And hopefully they all get over the line in those places. Um, and then I want to look at um, the last race that I want to look at at Flemington is race eight. The Sipbelt Dumborg um, Trophy. The Drumborg Trophy, I should say. Excuse me. Uh, it's number five, re-edit. Now, he's been scratched um, in a couple races over the past few weeks. Hopefully nothing goes wrong today. And you can... Uh, Get to the barriers and have uh, a wonderful race. He's got barrier 12. Damien Oliver on board. Uh, hopefully he can get a win. Uh, just boost up the confidence and, um, you know, get back on form, I, I would say. That's it from me for Flemington. Now we move on to the Gold Coast for the Magic Millions. Mate, what a day of racing it's going to be. Let's look at race three, the $1 million Magic Millions Trophy Quality Handicap. I've got number two, black on gold. It's got barrier six. It's the oldest horse in this race. It's a seven-year-old gelding, and I think um, it'll go well. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets to win another horse. Um, in this race that I think could beat black on gold is um, horse number five, Elaborate. Um, he's got barrier 10, Craig Williams on board. So I think Craig will get Elaborate over the line for at least a place, I'd say second, um, or even the win, and, um, you know, get a, get a great win to kick off um, 
his races in the Magic Millions. Now, Craig is on a few roughies today. A uh, couple that I saw in the form were Yes Baby Yes, uh, Morrissey. You never know. Um, Craig Williams, a great jockey. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe he can get those roughies over the line for a win. Uh, moving on now to race four. We'll look at the $1 million Magic Million Sprint. I've only got one horse in this, and it's number four. Bella Vella, who's got barrier four, currently back at 850. The punters are showing a lot of love for this horse, and I think she'll go extremely well. Then we look at race six, the $2 million Magic Millions two year old classic. We've got number four, Shakiro, uh, who's got barrier one, Hugh Bowman on board. It's a 1,200 metre race. I reckon Hugh can get Shakiro over the line for a solid win, uh, despite that in a barrier with barrier one uh or um shakiro might beat she's all class she's all class will go well number 11 barrier 18 is what worries me but i think james mcdonald might might um just you know move or move her into a place where she can uh conquer the barrier and have a wonderful race and still get uh, a place out of it so uh, it's going to be a great race um, in race six, uh, a lot of good horses, um, if needed to choose one, it'll be Shakiro for the, for the win, I reckon Hugh Bowman will, um, you know, get the job done, uh, then we move on to race seven, the two million dollar Magic Millions three-year-old guineas, number three, away game, he's got barrier three, Glenn Boss on board, I think Bossy will have a great ride and uh, get the win. Obviously, away game won the two-year-old classic uh, Magic Millions last year. Hopefully, he can win the three-year-old guineas this year and have a ripper race. The last race that I want to look at for the Magic Millions is race eight, the $1 million Magic Millions Cup. Nash Wheeler on board for number three, 11 11. 11 11's got barrier five. Uh, 11 11, he finished second in the three year old Guineas and Magic Millions last year. Uh, and obviously came second to Alligator Blood, this bad boy on my cap who had a sensational win. I think 11 11 will get the win for the cup. Uh, he'll go well, and I think he deserves it. It's going to be a magnificent day of racing, guys. I hope you got a few tips and picks out of those race tips and um you know it's going to be massive uh to all connections of winners today congratulations all the best to you and to all punters today good luck all the best but as always gamble responsibly